Hey guys, Sean, Hyrule 1969. Update, today is surgery day. I've had it done. I've got my drains. I am so flat and smooth. My ass is lifted. This is day one. I'm really happy. I don't know what the hell you people are doing who have surgeries. You people are like, oh, it's the worst pain in the world. Oh, you're super groggy. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like day one, day two. Screw that. Like I've been eating. I've been drinking. I've been walking around. All right. And I had a full 360 lipo with a fucking ass lift. I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm not going to lie. It's it's painful. But I'm I'm have my mindset to endure the pain to be like, "Hey, I'm fucking alive." That's what matters. I came out of anesthesia, it took me like a few hours to like get my bearings back. And I have like a little bit of touch of vertigo, but like like I said, I've been walking, I've been eating, I've been drinking. Like, what the hell are you guys doing to baby yourself? Because I do not, I'm not going to baby myself. I'm going to take it easy and I'm going to get plenty of rest. But I know that if I baby myself, that's going to be a health risk. At 41 years old, that is a health risk. So I'm sitting here and like I'm doing leg exercises. This down here. Hurts like a bitch because of the lipo. The lipo. Right over here hurts. And not only that, like, I feel sick. Be well, I felt sick because they just, like, pump you with medication and you're on an empty stomach. And I know that in order for me to beat that, like, nausea, that empty stomach, like, I have to eat. And for some reason, my goddamn taste buds are, like, super heightened right now. So, I just had some, like, um, I had some rice cakes. I had these right here, which is a ginger candy. And ginger really helps out with nausea. And ginger also can settle. Oh, sorry. Ginger can also settle my stomach. Also, like, I've seen you people be like, oh, I just had, like, all this work done. And now I'm going to hold my kid. Are you nuts? Like, are you nuts by doing that? Like, yeah, like, you can love your child and everything, but, like, seriously, what the hell? My drains, I got four of them babies right there, all right? I look at them like little grenades. I got this little electrical stimulator thing, all right? My chest is just, like, so tight right now. I cannot wait to see how deaf, like, defined I am. Do Dr. Rockmore did such a good job. He knew, like, exactly what I wanted. He knew, like, how important it was to me to just look sexy. Um, he knew that if he pulled down tight on my back, which my back is tight, that part sucks, but I'm still going to, I'm pushing through it anyways. But, like, he pulled back on my on my back and, like, picked up my chest. And I am so happy for that. I don't know. I don't understand, like, what the hell you people are doing. That's Because I've watched so many YouTubes, and, like, I went into this with, like, so much fear. And, like, when I was under under anesthesia, that was, like, something that was, like, scary to me. Um, the anesthesiologist was great. And I guess I was kind of, like, flirting with the nurses, being like, wow, you're really pretty. I'm in subspace right now. This is awesome. Like... <laughs> That was just me. Like, that's just, like, my subconscious mind just going. So, um, I haven't had any pain med yet. Um, I'm going to wait until, what, babe, 8 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to wait until 8 o'clock. I have such a massive support system. My daughter, she's super helpful. She, yeah. she didn't go to school today because she just worries about me. And I just have so much love. So, sorry if I'm emotional. Fuck, I cannot cry because that just hurt. Um, so, I really foresee myself with the knowledge and the nutritional knowledge that I have 
a nihilistic knowledge that I have that I am going to recover way fucking faster than everybody else. And I went into this with just a total badass mindset. That's what you have to go into it with. Like, I cried this morning, obviously. But, like, other than that, like, I came into it like I'm a bad mother trucker. And everything's going to be fine. And I'm strong. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm wealthy. I'm strong. I'm Sean. I've been to so much emotional trauma. I can handle physical pain. So, that's just kind of like something that, like, I got my headspace with. And if anybody's doing this, like, it's just such... My friend John, I love John. He always says it's such a short... It's such a short period of downtime for a long period. Wait a minute. How does he say that? Babe, how does John say that? What? It's such a short period of time suffering for a long for a period. Long period of living. Yeah. It's a short period of suffering for a long period of living. And his ex-wife has had surgery like $30,000 worth of surgery. He knows what it's like. He understands it. He's seen it. John's been very, very supportive. I love the man. Okay. <laughs> and like his wife, Colleen now, because that was his ex-wife, his wife, Colleen, she's went through it and she is so happy and it's nice to have that support. But Anyways, keep that fucking badass mindset and just know that you're strong and like I said, move your legs. Don't be a bitch. Like, you can't be a bitch. You have to be strong. Look at my chest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, it's like, what time is it? 7.32. Okay, so it's 7.32. I'll take a, a pain med. I'm kind of just feeling like ibuprofen is just good enough. Like, yeah, it hurts. But like I said, I feel alive and I'm enduring the pain. Like, like I've earned this. And I have to feel the pain so I could appreciate it. If I just, like, sit there and like, oh, like, it was a breeze or, like, I'm feeling loopy. No, let me tell you, like, I want to watch YouTube channels. Okay? And I want to sleep. And I just want to, like, enjoy my time at home with my family. So, I don't know. Change your mindset if, you, if, like, you're thinking about having it done. But, honestly, it does hurt like a bitch. But you got to be, like, prepared for that. And have a good, a good partner. Like, a really good partner. And just know, like, if you're feeling sick... Eat something. If you're feeling like bubble guts because you are taking medication on an empty stomach, eat something that absorbs it. And like I said, it's like my sense of taste is so heightened right now. It's awesome. I'm like, I kind of cannot wait for dinner. And now Alexis cutting up watermelon. So, Do you want some? oh, hell yeah, I want some. <laughs> but. But, but you have to pace yourself and you have to slow yourself down with eating because you don't want this to protrude and bulge because your binder will get tight. So just pace yourself, eat, eat like little, um, drink plenty of water. Like I said, I probably downed almost like a half a gallon by now. And you think so? Mm -hmm. I got out of surgery. What time? I came back shortly after. Okay, so we came back shortly after 4. It's like 7.30 now. I pounded water in the car. I'm like, I am so thirsty. But do you know what the worst is? And it's so stupid. They put this tape over your eye. And like right here. Hurts. I'm like, you assholes. Because like, I need to like rub my eyes. So I'm not like groggy. I need to like snap out of it. Especially if I'm having like a vertigo moment. Just from, you know, laying back for so long. Um, so, just kind of, like, keep that in mind. Like, if you have vertigo or if you are expecting vertigo, just 
make sure that you get out, make sure that you move. I wanted to watch the sun, the sunset, it's important to me. So, I don't know. So this is day one. Day two is going to be fucking awesome. I can't wait. So, I really want you guys to just be fucking badasses because, like, we are all badasses. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.